Well, good evening, Basel fans, and welcome here to the beautiful city of Bilbao for Game 1 of the ninth edition of the 2023-24 FIBA Europe Cup semifinals. And of course, it is indeed our host, Cerner Bilbao, against the visitors, Niners Chemnitz of Germany. Of course, this will be a two-legged semifinal where both teams will get to play each other over two games. Aggregate scoring will be in place, so the result of this game will have a big impact to see how these two teams go into Game 2. Remember, ninth edition of the FIBA Europe Cup. This competition was originally composed of 32 teams, but this season extending to 40, which has made the competition all oh, so much more competitive. Well, good evening, everybody. And again, as we mentioned, a big-time game between two very good teams, the most anticipated FIBA Europe Cup semifinal. Cernaville Bow coming into this game. Very big, heavy favorites to come out with a victory. Off of the visitors, the Niners Chemnitz, a team quite younger than Cerner Bilbao. Obviously now in their third season of trying to make it here at the continental level of European basketball. And now you can see a man who was playing in this arena only a few seasons ago in the final four of the basketball champions with Hapoel Kulonia. Adam Smith now making a big impact in his second season here with Cerner Bilbao. Well, the other semifinal that will be going on this evening will be between Batshe Kolechi of Turkey and, of course, Varese of Italia. Well, we're the start of how these two teams got to this semifinals and what a journey it's been for both Cerner Bilbao and, of course, the likes of the visitors, Niners Chemnitz. Well, Niners Chemnitz already have defeated one team from the Spanish ACB. They took on a very competitive team in Casademo Zaragoza. Now many people would have thought Zaragoza would have been favorites going into that quarterfinal. But winning the first game on the road by 34 points and taking care of business. The team from the easy credit Bundesliga. Niners Cabinets making a big impact. Off of Cerner Bilbao. What an unbelievable comeback it was for them in their quarterfinal matchup. Well they of course had to take on Legia Vasava going and losing the first game by 19 points. Remember, every stage is all about aggregate. So if you lose by 19, you're going into game two down by 19. But taking care of business in this arena, winning comfortably 81 to 53 against the superstar basketball team from Poland. Sasha Kalea Jones, the GB International that game, had a double double of 19 points and 15 rebounds, helping his team secure the big victory. Well, now we're going to get set to introduce the key players now from Cerner Bilbao. But, you know, some of the key players you want to look out for, Jeff Garrett has been one of their superstars in the case of Niners Chemnitz, but also DeAndre Lansdowne, who's had a magnificent career here in Europe, did spend the last few seasons playing in the French Pro LMB for the likes of Sig Strasbourg, but now has moved to Germany. And also players such as Kaza Kajami Keen, the Canadian international, Usman Krubali as well. I mean, this is a very, very strong Niners Chemnitz team. But now we'll get set to look at the team. The key players here for Cerner Bilbao. Well, Cerner Bilbao currently shooting just above 50% from the three-point line. I mean, you know, this is a team that collectively, you know, one thing they're going to have to make sure they do a good job of is keeping Niners Chemnitz off the second chance opportunity points. The visitors coming from the easy credit Bundesliga, averaging 14 offensive rebounds per game, but take nothing away from Cerner Bilbao. They are very aggressive, and they will be ready for this matchup. Again, yeah, just so many key players. The likes of Adam Smith, who's been, uh, we've already mentioned him, having played in this arena in the Final Four of the BCL back in 2022. This season so far in the FIBA Europe Cup, 14 games, he's averaging just under 12 points. I mean, he is a heavy scoring point guy, but Sasha Kalea Jones, the GB... Internationals, their top score of 15 points per game. Oh, Kulamai as well, the Estonian Internationals, some key Spanish players. Shabby Rabaset has been one of the key players. And also Melvin Patsock, just averaging under 10 points. So heavy favorites, and they've done a phenomenal job, of course. Right from the get-go, I mean, they were in Group B with the likes of Anvil Vatswavik, the defending champions of the FIBA Europe Cup, along with Sibiu from Romania, and the Caledonia Gladiators from the British Basketball League. And they went 6-0. Oh. Well, it's fair to say they made light work of the regular season. I mean, they did not, of course, pick up their first defeat until they got past the regular season. Well, the first defeat actually came on the road when they went to Gottingham. And ended up losing that one by a slender two points. 
Of course, losing game one to Legia Vasov by 19 points, but if you come back from that deficit, maybe destiny is on the side of Cerna Bilbao. Well, again, if you're new to the FIBA Europe Cup, currently being streamed on the FIBA official platform on YouTube, this is a wonderful competition coming into the ninth season. We've had only seven champions due to the season being postponed back in the COVID year of 2019-20. Well, if you go back to the very first ever final back in 2015, the first ever champion of the FIBA Europe Cup was a German team, and that was the Frappwood Skyliners. That was a one final, and after that, they decided to go to a two-legged final based on aggregate. So teams getting a chance to play in their own home arenas in front of their fans. It's been a fantastic competition. The only other time they've gone to a one-off final was in 2020-21. Well, there are three referees. We have Martin Vulic from Hrvatska, Croatia. Gintaras Masulis from Lithuania, from Hungary. Uh, Petr Prakic. Well, we're very proud to say that we have some of the three finest officials in FIBA basketball. They've done an excellent job across all competitions from internationals, the BCL and the FIBA Europe Cup. And they will continue to do so here tonight at the Bilbao Arena for Game 1 of the 2023-24 FIBA Europe Cup semifinals. Well, momentarily now we'll take a look at the key starters. Well, the Niners coming out with their key players, DeAndre Lansdowne. He will be in the starting lineup along with Jeff Garrett. Well, those two making a very big combo. German international Dominic Lockhart will also play a key factor. So Argentinian coach Pastore knows that if they can, I mean, a win would be monumental. But keep it below 10 points. Take it back to Germany for next week's second leg. That will be the key factor for the Niners Chemnitz. Rodrigo Pastore, very well-respected coach. The Argentinian international Originally coming from Buenos Aires as a player played in Germany for Medi Bayreuth, also played in Italy as well. And his last team was for the Lugano Tigers in Switzerland. That was back in 2005-06 before becoming a coach. And he's been with Niners Chemnitz from the early years of the lower divisions of German basketball back in 2015. Well, Alex Reyes will be in the starting lineup with Estonian international Christian Kulamaya, Alex Renfro, a very experienced point guard, Denzel Anderson, and big man Sasha Kalea Jones from Great Britain will start inside. Well, the tempo of this game is going to be crucial for these two teams. I mean, how they get off to a good start. Bill Bow's got to make sure they use the home court advantage, really make sure that they use this home crowd to their extra motivation. Comes Bill Bow, coached by the legendary Jaume. I don't know. Last season they made it to the round of 16 of the Basketball Champions League, but just coming up short, unable to get to the quarterfinals. But now they have a chance to get to a final of a very big European competition. Well, as we mentioned, the first ever FIBA Euro Cup final was back in 2015-16. Fraport Skyline is winning that one against Varese. Now Varese are playing in the other semifinal this evening. That will be against Batshikolegi. Well, we've never had a Spanish champion. Nantes from France, Umano Rea Venezia, and Banco de Sardinia Sassari from Italy. Champion from Israel, Iranian Esziana, Batshe College, and the defending champions, Anvil Vlotswavik. But never have we had a FIBA Europe Cup champion from the Spanish ACB. Well, hello, good evening to all of our international Basel fans, to all of our fans in Spain. Hola, bienvenidos, buenas tardes, bienvenidos a este partido. And to all of our fans in Germany, guten tag, willkommen. Off gets Niners Chemnitz. That will be the job for the German fans back home watching this game. Well, the experience of both these two teams some key players who have featured for strong European Basel teams. As in the likes of Niners Cabinet signing DeAndre Lansdowne was a big statement. A man who's been phenomenal in the French Pro Island B for so many seasons with Six Strasbourg. But, you know, in the case of Cernaville Bow, having Adam Smith, not to mention Jeff Garrett, key players, Alex Renfro as well. But can the experience come into play for both these two teams? We will find out very shortly. Well, 
Well, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be watching. Bienvenidos and willkommen. Well, we just had a bit of a fumble over the jumble, so retake is going to happen. Well, Bill Powell's going to get the first possession. Trying to control the tempo of this one very early on is going to be the key aspect. Sell out crowd here at the Bilbao Arena, the host venue of the 2022 FIBA Basketball Champions League. Trying to go pick a pop now, go for an early three. The three is up and beautifully iced away. Well, Christian Kilabaya, we've seen him do that time and time again with the Estonian national team. And what a player he's been. Not is trying to respond down the other end, and DeAndre lands down the mid range. Well, he will be automatic if you give him the time and space because his mid-range jump shot, there's no defending it. Already good defense by the Niners. They're going to take the lead here. Oh, beautiful conversion from turnovers into transition points. And there you can see DeAndre Lansdowne, one of their top scorers this season, making things happen very early. And on the home crowd, feel like a technical foul could be called here, but I think it's just a simple discussion going on between player and referee. And the foul is going to be called on Ahed Oguak. Oguak, excuse me. Well, Dominic Lockhawk, you can see already defensive pressure coming from Nanis Chemnitz. Trying to become the second German team to win the FIBA Europe Cup. You can see the hunger, the determination. Oguak goes into penetration now. Again, missing everything but the backboard. Kulamaya coming up with a possession, almost traveling with it. Bilbao just trying to get into a half-court set, trying to settle into a tempo. Nice pick and roll, finding Kalea Jones. Using the boost track, it's simply unstoppable early on. Well, Sasha Kalea Jones, the GB international from Great Britain. Representing his national team many times in the qualifiers of both Eurobasket and World Cup qualifiers. Lands down going for three, unable to connect, big rebound secured. Denzel Anderson. Kulamaye trying to penetrate and break down the defense. Looking for Jones inside the paint. Heavy defense coming from Niners Chemnitz. Jones down the middle, kicks this one out, finds Anderson. Three is wide open again, easily iced away. Well, that's one thing if the defense tries to collapse down with a double team on Sasha Kalea Jones. You got to remember, three point shooters will be wide open on the perimeter. Lands now finding time and space. Kicks out for the three. Nine is unable to connect. Two possession lead at the moment here for Sonny Bill Bow. Finding Anderson, but a tough, tough pass, and it's already a No, I think it's going to be a foul. Oh, they're going to call a push in the back. It almost looked like in fast motion. Maybe. Did he step out of No, he's way, way away from Well, have a look here. Oh, it looks okay. So definitely the foul. Lansdowne coming up with it. Nine is trying to push. And trying to push the tempo of this one. And another turnover. Both teams unable to take care of the basketball. But another foul is going to be called by the Niners. It's going to be the third team foul already here in the, third, in the first quarter. DeAndre Lansdowne committing the foul. That's a clever play by Christian Kulamaya. Lansdowne again just falling for the... The trap, I guess. Kulamaya, very intelligent, but still a very young basketball player. Trying to go down the middle. Nowhere to go here. Shot clock winding down. Kulamaya going for the tough step back. Three is up. Unable to get it. Nine is looking to push this one. They'll fire another three-pointer. Oh, nothing dropping here. But coming up with loose balls. Getting second chances. 
Well, the 15-foot jump shot easily tucked away by Usman Krubali. Well, ready again. Nine is just unable to play any defense. Now picking up their fourth and final team foul. So any more after this, and it will be automatic free throws for Cerner Bilbao. Usman Krubali is going to come out of the game. He will take a breather. Niners cabinet's already making some early changes. Foul trouble's not doing them too many favors at the moment. Well, Alex Renfro currently at the free throw line here for Son of Bilbao. Renfro, of course, originally from Hermitage, Tennessee, went to Belmont University, started his pro career in Latvia with Beth Riga. What's interesting about Alex Renfro won the FIBA Basel Champions League in 2020 with Hereda San Paolo Burgos. On the offensive rebound, trying to battle with Sasha Kalea Jones being a solid insurance policy. And that's why they've signed him for this team to be that rim protection. Three-point lead at the moment here for Bill Bow. Going down low to Jones. Good defense. Well, nobody reacted there. That's a case where Niners cabinets need to come up with loose balls, try to get out of the transition. Jones fakes all the way. Oh, my goodness. Muchos gracias. Somebody explain to me what we just saw. Well, Sasha Kalea Jones went down the middle and said, Buenas noches. Good night. Adios, amigo. You're going on the FIBA Europe Cup social media pages. Are you kidding me? What a throwdown. Well, that might very well be the dunk of the international basketball calendar. Sasha Kalea Jones took no prisoners on that one. He converts a three-point play. Nine is trying to get something. And going for a step back three. Well, again, Son of Bilbao making things happen in transition. Eight point lead at the moment here for Niners Cabinets, and they are struggling immensely, unable to get into any rhythm. Another three coming from Son of Bilbao, but again, that may be just too quick a shot, but they're able to come up with an offensive rebound. Don't get one out. Addison's made a throw again. Deja vu moments. Well, they already had the same play with Jones went inside the paint, kicking it out of. Now it is an 11-point lead to Son of Bilbao. Niners Chemnitz, they have to call timeout because they are losing total control. Well, it's the same play. They go down for the double team, but they leave Anderson wide open defensively. They have a mismatch with Sasha Kalea Jones in the post. Let's go listen now to what the guys are saying. Well, here with the early stages, DeAndre Lansdowne getting some good looks, but here's the problem. They haven't been able to defend Sasha Kalea Jones. I mean, too big, too strong, and simply just too good inside the paints. The same thing, the triple team came, they kicked out, find Denzel Anderson. That was the first three-pointer. And the exact same play happened before this timeout. Well, you 
you gotta think, if you're guy in Denzel Anderson, you cannot afford to go over and commit that double team. 11 point lead at the moment here for Cerner Bilbao. Game one of the ninth edition of the 2023-24 FIBA Europe Cup semifinals. Another game going on tonight will be between Varese and Batshe Kolegi. Nine is trying to make something. Going down the middle, draws a foul. Getting the M1. Well, that's much better. That will just calm down the nerves a little bit. Foul is on Denzel Anderson. Well, the Canadian international Kajami Keen went down the middle. Tough, tough play. Many times is featured for his national team in various FIBA America Cup and World Cup qualifiers for that matter. Well, just a very solid, experienced professional. Originally from Ajax, Ontario, Canada. Started his pro career in the NBA G League with the Raptors 905. Also played last season for Le Mans Sat. And this is much better here coming from Niners Chemnitz, putting on the full court pressures. Reyes stumbling and fumbling with a turnover. Kajami Keen trying to break down the defense. We're going to go baseline, but another foul's cool. Well, it's going to be on Denzel Anderson again. Well, Anderson tried to prevent Kajami Keen going on the baseline. Well, that's a tough one for sure. I think the referee does have that one right, though, because you can see Kajami Keen had just beat him momentarily on the first steps of Denzel Anderson. This is good for Kemnitz Niners because he'll go to the bench. So checking into the game now, Spanish international player Shabby Rabaceta here for Cerner Bilbao. Chami Key coming off one screen. Time winding down here on the shot clock. Niners have to get something going. Putting up a circus shot, unable. Good defense by Cerner Bilbao. Well, it's going to go out of bounds. Shabby Rabaceta calling his coach to go for the coach's challenge. Now the referees will talk this one over. Change of decision. Let's have a look at the replay. I think that's the right call. Well, time on Guaya, you can see just maybe got a touch to that one. So 4 one to go in the first quarter. Bill Bow currently leading by eight points. So currently in the backcourt for Bill Bow. Blocking foul is going to be called. So two free throws coming up for the hosts. Well, these are the kind of fouls that Niners Chemnitz just cannot afford to give away at the moment. That was the penetration by Christy Kulamaye. Well, Smith's going to check into the game. As Alex Reyes will take a breather. Also checking as Keith Hornsby, who recently just played for Ritas Vilnius in the Lithuanian LKL, along with Adam Smith. Christy Kilomaya, Rishi from Tallinn, Estonia. 24 years of age, started his pro career in his hometown. Provisional substitutions, Kulamaya, the Estonian international. He will go to the bench and take a breather. Ten-point lead at the moment here for Cernaville Bow. Trying to come off one screen of defense, making it too tough. And Smith getting his hand to posse lane, but he steps out of bounds. That's one thing Adam Smith doesn't get enough credit. Well, excuse me, no. My apologies, Melvin Panzer, actually. Panzer just stepping on the sideline. I think they're trying to figure out what should be on the shot clock because it wasn't quite full possession. So I think it's going to be 10 here. 
But Niners Chemnitz to get the ball inbound and to get something going. 3.34 to go. They're trailing by 10 points to Cerner Bilbao. Well, they got to go quick here. Time is winding down. Not a lot of time to get something into a set. Penetrates, goes off the backboard. A foul has been called, so Van Beck will be going to the free throw line. This penetration by Vesley Van Beck. Leslie Von Beck, the American international, relatively new to this team. Zrishta will go to the bench. He'll take a breather. Both teams now, of course, going to the death of Jeff Garrett. Coming back into the game for Niners Chemnitz. Well, interesting. Well, Nassim, the former Casanova Zaragoza player, standing at seven foot three, Icelandic international, has enjoyed a very long, successful career here in the Spanish ACB. A lot of experience playing in the Basketball Champions League with various Spanish clubs. Kajami Keen trying to get something going here for Niners Chemnitz. Twelve point deficit, kicks out in the corner, three is up, and again, no good. <laughs> No good trying to box out a go for offensive rebounds against the big man, Lanassen. That's it going in and around and just doing a little bit of a dance around the defense. Well, this guy's looking like magic on the floor. Well, he's been one of the top players, and you can see the defense suffocating. Putting Kajami Keen under intense pressure. Try again. No in me, Casa. Well, Lanassim with the easy block. That's what I call a solid insurance policy. The rim protection. Smith now ankle breaker. Getting this one back. Time winding down here on the shot clock. Trying to break down the defense. Going in with a bit of a fang roll, but unable to connect. That's why Niners Chemnitz need to get something in transition. That's going to be the fourth team foul against Sonneville Bow against Shabby Rabaceta. So any more fouls and Niners Chemnitz will be going to the free throw line. Another change coming in for the Niners as Usman Krubali coming back into the game. Grubali originally from Atlanta, Georgia, very experienced, started his career in the second division of British basketball with the London Leopards. What a magnificent career he's had. But again, Niners Chemnitz unable to get anything going from their offense. Well, a bit too predictable. And now, can they get something quicker? They got numbers. Down the middle, goes in, bit of contact. Well, they had a four on one, but they get the putback. And that's how they need to play. They need to play quick. But look, Keith Hornsby going all the way. And Hornsby throws it down. Well, Son of Bill Bow proving a point. If you make mistakes, they'll punish you. But if you get things right like Niners Kempnitz did, they'll still punish you. Transition defense needs to be a key factor for the team from the Easy Credit Bundesliga. And this is becoming a calamity of 129. An offensive foul on the legal screen has been set. So Son of Bilbao will get this one back. This team, they need to regroup, and they need to regroup fast. The moment they are making too many errors. But look at Hornsby. Hornsby with the bunnies on that one. Two-handed throw down. DeAndre Lansdowne checking back into the game. Currently, Son of Bilbao with Adam Smith, Rabaceta, Melvin Panza. Smith going for the step back, mid-range. Unable to get this one going. Rebound secured by Jeff Garrett. Not the team with any more fouls to give. Lines down trying to attack here, coming off the screen, going in. Tough finish by Dre. Well, it's like they forgot about Dre Lansdowne. Former six Strasbourg play. It was tough to see him leave the strong team from the French Pro Allen B. Many great years of playing for a fantastic club, but Niners Chemnitz, they have won big time by signing him. 
that's a poor foul to give away by Jeffrey Garrett because, well, not necessarily. Clenasson isn't always the most consistent free throw shooter, but this stage you don't want to be sending them to the free throw line. Again, we'd like to welcome all of our international Basel fans who've tuned into this game. It's the ninth season of the FIBA Europe Cup. Eighth semi-final for that matter. And if you are watching live on the FIBA YouTube, please hit that like button and also subscribe to FIBA. Make sure you follow FIBA Europe Cup on X, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. FIBA Europe Cup. 14-point lead at the moment here for Son of Bilbao. Lines down, go and pick and pop. Well, it's going to be on well, the good account, I believe, yeah? Well, I thought they were going to call an offensive foul, but it's going to be called against Melvin Panza. Well, you like to see that from Jeffrey Gabby. Look at this. Initiates the contact, goes in, and he's in his one-two step. So Chance to cut this down to an 11-point ball game. With Dominic Lockhart checking back in for Niners Cabinets. Well, big man. Oh, we need a nickname for Sasha Kalea Jones. I'd like to call him Great Britain Hammer Time. Maybe the GB Hammer Time. Garrett converts a three-point play. 11-point deficit. Sonny Bilbao still lead this one. Well, the change coming in for Niners Chemnitz. Coming into the game. For them is Spanish national Tommy Origo. Jonas Richter, my apologies. Richter checking in for Niners Chemnitz. Smith going in and getting that one. It's a tough, tough play by Melvin Panza. And that is the final play of the first quarter. 13 point lead to Cerner Bilbao. We've never had a Spanish champion in the FIBA Europe Cup, but maybe that could change this year. Niners Chemnitz, they need to turn this one around. They are struggling from both ends of the floor. Panza coming off the screen in and around the defense, wrapping. That is a B E A beautiful finish to the end of the first quarter. Crew Valley jumping up in the air, but you're not blocking this guy. Pansa has been one of their best players all season. Well, we're going to take a look at the stats and some of the key highlights here from the first quarter. This is game one of the semifinal of the FIBA Europe Cup between our host, Son of Bill Bow, and the visitors, Ninus Chemnitz. Well, so far, you can see the three point shooting 0 for 7 for Ninus Chemnitz, 3 for 5 from Son of Bill Bow, six field goals from inside the rainbow. Getting to the free throw line with nine attempts this evening. There you can see the rebounds. And only two assists for the Niners Cabinets. I mean, that's a worrying sign. Got to make sure they change that one. Well, it's time now to go back and look at some of the top plays here from the first quarter. This is the first ever semifinal this season. Well, here's the play by Sasha Kalea Jones. Pump faking, going down the middle. Deciding to put the help side defense on a poster and then the kick out finding Denzel Anderson. Only made two of those exact same play. Jones in the paint. And look at this from Kaza Kajami Keen. Canadian international from Ontario going down the middle, getting the drop and getting to the free throw line. Well, look at the block shot here. Lanassin said, Tu no eres bienvenido. No in mi casa. Get out of here. Well, we're currently at the Bill Bow Arena in the beautiful Basque country north of Spain. Niners getting the first possession of the second quarter, trailing by 13 points. Lance now currently playing in the backcourt. Trying to make things happen, getting inside the paint, but it kept struggling. Well, if it's not Lanassin being the rim protector, then you've got to go up against 
Sasha Kalea Jones. Jones getting a hand up. Down low, Renfro. Just turning that one over. Good defense by DeAndre Lansdowne. Trying to push this one quickly, and it goes out of bounds. But that's going to be possession. Back to Niners Chemnitz. Lansdowne trying to attack. Been got it by Renfro. Going to that right hand. Bit of contact, tough finish by DeAndre Lansdowne. Well, he's been the driving force so far here for the team from the Easy Credit Bundesliga. 11 point deficit. Smith looking to isolate. Well, again, it's another costly turnover. And sometimes Bill Bow just get a little too complacent in their offense. Well, they build a 14-point lead at one point, but Niners Chemnitz, as we've seen, already taking one team down from the Spanish ACB. Winning on the road by 34 points against Cafodemo and Zaragoza. The three-point struggle still continue. Can they get that first three? Nothing dropping here for Niners. Jones with a rebound. 0 for 9 from the perimeter for the visitors. Smith getting the switch on defense. Looking to isolate here. Step back, quick shot. Did he have his foot in the line? Well, <laughs> getting the lucky drop. Well, that's a case you take the three-pointer. Maybe a two-pointer. Not quite sure if he had his foot on the line. That's going to be a two-pointer, yep. That's now penetrating. Bit of contact. Can't finish it, but another offensive rebound. Going up and get him rejected. Well, the second chance is good by DeAndre Lansdowne, single-handedly trying to keep Niners Cabinets in this game. Well, when you're trailing by double digits, you got to be a little bit hungry. And sometimes you got to go in for those second chances. Jones down the middle, getting the M1. Big man, simply unstoppable. Jones, anytime he gets the ball in the paint, you got to double team it. But even when you do that, you're going to leave wide open three point shooters. Here was Smith coming off the screen. That was a double team. All communication on the pick and roll defense. Well, Sasha Kalea Jones was born in New Jersey, United States, went to the University of Kentucky for two years. She started his pro career in Czechia with Sparta Praha. Well, Nine has got numbers. Lands down responding. Oh, he is just bowling at the moment. Dre lands down. 12 points already here in the first court. First half, excuse me. Seven. Six for eight from the field. He has one rebound, but that's what he does. If you've ever watched this man play in previous years in the French Pro Allen B for six Strasbourg. Well, he's the old school kind of player, mid range, get out and transition. Shabby Ravasetta will go to the bench. Denzel Anderson coming back into the game now for Centerville Bow. Three-point play converted. Now it's down to a 10-point ball game. Under seven and a half to go here in the second quarter. Ninth season of the FIBA Europe Cup. One of the top continental competitions. And to going in, tough defense. Well, what's be waiting for the penetration? Let's have a look at the replay here. Changes going in for both teams. Well, it's the usual facial expression. It's going to be a baseline possession. Well, Centerville Val. 
Well, Anderson trying to force his way in, can't get it. Smith comes up with a loose ball. Down low to Jones. Jones comes in, the double team is way too late. Well, you gotta make that decision a lot quicker because Sasha Jalea, Kalea Jones inside the paint. Only one outcome's gonna happen. Nine points this evening for Jones. Trying to go back to him. It's gonna be a kick ball violation. So fresh 14 on the shot clock here for the Niners Chemnitz. Well, they're trying to hang in there at the moment. Well, the anticipation on defense by Sunnerville about putting their hands in the passing lane. Foul has been committed again, so two free throws coming up for the visitors. Foul is going to be called against Sasha Kalea Jones. Well, was it on Jones or was it on Keith Hornsby? I'm not quite sure. Kevin Yebo currently the free throw line here for Niners Kemnitz. German national, 27 years of age, standing at 207 centimeters. Getting to the free throw line is going to be key here tonight for Niners Kemnitz. Making both free throws. Well, they got to try and keep this deficit below 10 points going into the halftime break. Give themselves a bit of hope. Smith trying to shake and bake, going all the way, and again, putting on a clinic. Jones going in for the second chance. Again, big man. Well, it's the case of Niners Chemnitz. They had the last donut, but nobody could cool box out. When trying to keep Sasha Kalea Jones off the offensive rebounds. Now moving out, a bit of contact goes in, and another foul is going to be called against Sasha Kalea Jones, and this is much better from Niners Chemnitz. Bringing Jones away from the parcel with that pick and roll scenario of DeAndre Lansdowne and Kevin Yebo. And now he's picked up 2,000 concession. So he's going to have to go to the bench. Along with Adam Smith, he'll take a breather as well. So the big Viking, the big man from Iceland. Well, that's some bull coming to the game for Jones. Well, if Yabo can make this free throw, put it back to 10 point deficit, 6 11 to go here in the second quarter. Sunnyville Bow currently leading. Remember, this is the first game of the semifinal. Whatever the outcome of this game, we'll go into the second game, of course. Sunnyville Bow losing by 19 points in game one of the quarterfinals against Legia Vasava, but winning the return leg here at home by 28. When that's an inside the paint, he gets fouled. So, foul is on the ground. It's going to be a baseline possession here to Son of Bilbao. Foul is going to be called against Tyler Nguawe. We like to see it right now. Both teams going to that pick and roll execution. Wants to be looking to attack. Oh, again, he turns it over now. Chance here. Nine is Kevin. It's got numbers. Good transition defense by Son of Bilbao. Well, that's something that's quite relevant with all the teams in the Spanish ACB. Defense taking presence over everything. And another turnover there, exactly. <laughs> Proving my points. All right, for going pick and roll, finding Lanasa. Go to the corner. Three is up, and again, B-E-A, beautiful Balafesto. Oh, timeout's going to be called by the Niners Chemnitz. Oh, they went to the pick and roll, finding Lanassan at the high post. 
And in the end, they get a wide open three in the corner. 13 point lead to Sunnibal Bow. These two teams will talk it over. We're going to listen to what the coaches have to say momentarily. Well, look at this. There's that pick and roll. Finds Lanassid. High post. And found the Estonian international nailing the three pointer. Well, here are some of the key highlights from the game from DeAndre Lansdowne. I mean, look at Sasha Kalea Jones. I mean, he's on the bench due to foul trouble, but I don't think there's any player in the front court for not his cabinets that can defend this man. 13 point deficit, just over five minutes left here in the second quarter. Mine is going down inside the paints. Well, they almost turn it over. Can he keep it alive? Well, good defense. I think that's going to be a backcourt violation. So, son of Bill Powell. Once, as I mentioned, you see this with every team from the Spanish ACB, whether it's the FIBA Europe Cup or it's the Basketball Champions League. The defense is what comes first. Forcing their opponents into tough areas, making them turn it over, but then converting those turnovers into quick transition buckets. Can roll here with Lanassin. Well, Kilamaya just throwing that one away. Son of Bilbao will get it back, though. They'll get it deep in the baseline. 3.2 left on the shot clock. It's going to be deep on the sideline. Renfro will inbound, as mentioned. 3.2 left. Well, Nassim was wide open. They get the ball to him. Addison pump fakes. Made two threes. Unable to connect. Oh, good hustle by the big fella. Seven foot three. Going out of bounds and keeping that one alive. Well, he threw that one off Wesley Von Beck. Great hustle. By the big Icelandic. Well, Hanassim was a member of the national team that well, won three-pointer for qualifying for the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup. That infamous game against Georgia in Tbilisi that they were unable to qualify, but still an exciting game. King going for a quick three, and again, well, who got the bucket? I think Hanassim is just giving the captain two points of not his Chemnitz. And usually, if it's an incidental... Let's have a look at the replay. No. My apologies. Kevin Yebo is going to get that. Good hands. That's over seven foot three. Lanassin. Now Melvin Patson is going to check into the game. Renfro will go to the bench. Take a breather. Be picking it. He's not usually a natural point guy. If you saw him play this early in the season for Rita's Vilnius in Lithuania, I mean, he's a shooter. He's a natural off board guard. Akulamaya now doing a phenomenal job playing in the backcourt. Akulamaya now heavily defended. Penetrate going in with a fang roll. Draws a foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Wow, the protest coming from Jonas Richter. Home crowd getting on the back of the referee. They want a technical call, but I think that's a reasonable protest. Let's have a look at the re replay here. Oh, yeah, there's no arguments. You can see goes him in the left arm. Right there. So Kulamaya now at the 
free throw line as Jonas Richter will go to the bench. He'll take a breather. Jeffrey Garrett coming back in. Also, Shabby Rabasetta coming back in for Sunnerville Val. Denzel Addison, he will also go take a breather. Well, we got internationals left, right, and center. Kulamaya was a member of the Estonian national team in the first window of the 2025 FIBA Eurobasket qualifiers. Defeated the mighty Lithuania at home in Tallinn. Makes both free throws. 3.59 to go here in the first half. Kajami Key coming off one screen. This is better pass, and there's the pump fake. Well, he got to make this three. It's wide open. And again, it's just refusing to obey the basketball laws of gravity by going in the hoop. But that's good execution by the Niners Chemnitz. Pants are bumping, and they'll go back to the free throw line. This is becoming a defensive nightmare for the Niners Chemnitz. Another free throw chip here for Sunnerville Bow. I think if you saw that, Wesley Van Beck felt that maybe it could have been an offensive foul. You saw the left elbow from Melvin Pansa. Well, double change coming in. DeAndre Lansdowne checking back in with Dominic Lockhart. Bananas Chemnitz. Well, trying to rotate the plays to find any formula that will get them getting to build some momentum and some rhythm. Just trying to assert themselves in this game. Consistency has been an issue at the moment for Niners Chemnitz. It's out. Swedish international missing the first free throw. Well, he was also key for Sweden in the previous FIBA Eurobasket qualifying window. Unfortunately, they were unable to pick up that victory on the road against Montenegro and Podgorica, but he was key in that game. Back to a 14 point lead. Biggest deficit of the night here at the moment. Jami Keen heavily defended by Pansa. Again, the three is just not dropping, but an offensive rebound. Well, Shabby Rebisset is going to get called for the foul, so it's going to be possession on the sideline for Niners Chemnitz. You just saw Usman Krubali checking back in the game for the visitors. Johnny Keane almost turning it over. And in the end, it's another Niners Chemnitz turnover. And that one just being knocked out of bounds, but again, good hands by Ravacetta. The three minutes to go here in the first half. Bill Bow trying to extend their lead, trying to make the biggest margin of the game. Second time they turn the ball over, trying to find Hillenassen off the pick and roll. Down the middle, draws a foul, getting the M1. Now we'll just maybe restore a bit of belief here for Niners Chemnitz. The foul is on Shabby Rabaceta. That's a tempo they got to play. They came up with a still, and you love how quickly they push the tempo. Try to get the ball up the other end of the floor. Now, key for them in the next 237. Try to keep this below double digits. And another missed free throw. Pants out trying to push the tempo. Bill Bow leading by 12 points. Cross court pass finding Reyes. Lanassin. Turning inside the paint, big man getting fouled. Now he is not renowned for being a foundation center, meaning being a back to the basket post player. But this man will set ball screens. He will move. He'll work hard. In that case, see Dominic Lockhart had no choice but to foul the big man from Iceland.
Well, 26 years of age, over seven foot. She went to Spain back in 2017, where she's played ever since, played in Obradoiro in Galicia on loan for a season. Also, as we mentioned, with Catha Demo of Zaragoza. But he was unable to make both free throws. Looking for that first three. Kajami King, can he get it? Finally! Wunderbar! Dankeschön! The first triple of the game for Niners Chemnitz, and now it is single digits. As they trail by nine points of under two minutes to go here in the first half. Can they build on this now? Is that a bit of inspiration they need to get themselves in the game? Well, good defense by Chemnitz, but they're unable to secure this. Now you just notice a little bit more confidence. A bit of excess contact now. Time wanted down. Has to force up a Hail Mary three. Still can't get it. But Niners get the rebound. Under 90 seconds to go. Possession by possession. Trying to find a way back in. King kicking out. Finding lands down. Down the middle. Goes in a little bit too much on it. Foul's going to be cold. So free throws coming up. It's going to be against Lanassin. This is good now from Ninas Chemnitz. That's a beautiful move here by Lansdowne, but just a little too much hot sauce. A great job by Osman Krubali getting the offensive board rebound. So timeout's going to be cool now. These two teams want to talk it over. Son of Bilbao leading in game one of the 2023-24 semifinals of the FIBA Europe Cup by nine points against Ninas Chemnitz. Let's go listen to what the coaches have to say. some of the key replays taken by Kevin Yebo. I mean just plays like that those are the emotional plays mentally that will keep Niners Cabinets in this one that's what you like to see though from Planacid trying to seal off and just trying to be a little greedy because a lot of the times he's very much a system player as now Usman Krubali now interesting went to Georgia State graduating in 2010 and as I've already mentioned Started his pro career in the United Kingdom, not in the British Basketball League, the top tier. Played in the NBL for the London Leopards. Then he went to the Netherlands to play for Den Helder. He's played with some big big clubs. Pauk Thessaloniki, Le Portel in the French pro and New basketball in Disney in Italy as well. But last season was playing in Israel for Benet Herzliya. So it just goes to show young players, if you don't get that contract coming out of the NCAA, Hard work, dedication, and you will play at the highest level of international basketball. Seven point ball game, now we're under a minute. Renfro trying to kick this one out. Oh, Vanessa going in, Big Matt unable to get the ab one. But it's not a bad foul because as we mentioned, it's not the most consistent free throw shooter. He's unable to hit these free throws. It's going to be a game plan for Niners Chemnitz to dice the ice. Well, he makes the first one, though. Wait. 
One for two from the free throw line for Clanasson. Eight point ball game. Potential two for one coming up for Niners Chemnitz. Cross court pass. They've only made one three. Now they make it two three pointers. And all of a sudden, Jeffrey Garrett's come ready to play. And now it's a five point deficit. Neither team with any fouls to give. They don't want to send Bill Bowles to the free throw line. Kulamai now 10 seconds on the shot clock. Coming off one ball screen. Kicking this one out. Good close out on defense. Two seconds left. Got to get something in the lane. Fanger roll. And again, it's a poor foul to give away. Because time was winding down. Oh, Reyes wasn't going anywhere. It was going down the middle out of control. Right there, there was no need. That's the kind of defense you cannot be playing against Son of Bill Bow, especially in game one of the FIBA Euro Cup semifinal. Well, Tyler Aguayo will go to the, the bench. He'll take a breather. So Wesley Van Beck coming back into the game. And Keith Hornsby. Getting ready to check in 11.7 seconds left here in the first half. So Reyes makes the first free throw. Two out of two for the charity strike. Provisional substitutions. Hornsby comes back in. Seven-point lead to Son of Bill Bow. Pats are also coming back in. Just want to get one stop here before they go into the halftime interval. Niners Chemnitz won one last chance. A two will cut it down to a five-point ball game. A three-pointer. We'll make it definitely a two-possession game. Five here in the first half. Got to go quick. Well, nice play down the middle. Goes in. Beautiful execution. And off Wiedersen was the messenger on that pick and roll. Van Beck. Beautiful pick and roll scenario. Finding Uzbek crew. Bali. I mean, look at this. He picketh, he rolleth, and he maketh. This is a five-point bowl game. Well, we're going to take a look at some of the key statistics here from the first half. What a first half we've had here. Son of Bill Bow led by as many as 16 points, but now it is only a five-point ball game. Nine and seven minutes, putting Sasha Kalea Jones into a bit of foul trouble early in the second quarter. Really has turned the tempo of this game. Well, the Bilbao fans coming in, sellout crowd here tonight in the beautiful Basque country in the north of Spain. Remember the other semifinal going on this evening will be between Varese and Bacicolegi. That's currently tipped off right now. So the winner of this two-leg series over aggregate score will meet the winner of that series for the eighth final of the FIBA Europe Cup, a competition created by FIBA Europe. It originally was only 32 teams, but this season did extend to 40 teams. And who will we see in the final? Will we see Son of Bill Bow? Will we see Nanis Chemnitz? And will they play against Vareze or Bacci Kolegi? Well, your halftime score is indeed 46 to 41 in favor of the host, Son of Bill Bow. And we are going to take a short little break. So go get a drink. Go get something to eat. But don't go anywhere too long as we will be back for the second half of the semifinals of the FIBA Europe Cup.
Well, welcome back, Basel fans. It's going to be the second half here of the FIBA Euro Cup semifinal game one between Dinas Chemnitz, the visitors, and our host, Son of Bilbao, at the moment. It is indeed a five point ball game. The team from the Easy Credit Bundesliga Germany making a bit of a comeback at the end of the second quarter, led by DeAndre Lansdowne. Here are some of the key recap moments, key highlights. Sasha Kalea Jones had to go to the bench due to foul trouble, but he has been unstoppable so far. Hasn't been an odds of him defensively coming from Chemnitz. Well, trying to keep this team in the game has been the key aspect. Well, we will give you a rundown of statistics from this game so far. I mean, defensively, it was going as a masterclass for Son of Bilbao. They have committed 10 turnovers already. Interesting. We talk about their deep defense nine is coming it's only six turnovers three steals already for the team from the Spanish ACB our host this evening nine is coming it's being led as we mentioned by DeAndre Lansdowne he has 13 points the only player in double figures for the visitors on both Christian Kulamaya number 77 and Sasha Kalea Jones number six for son of Bilbao they're in double digits combined total of 23 points between them Kulamaya there the Estonian international a very successful FIBA Europe basket window where he was able to help his team with a big victory over their Baltic rivals, the mighty Lithuania. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody back here on the live YouTube stream for this semifinal of the FIBA Europe Cup, the ninth season of this wonderful competition. The inaugural year was back in 2015-16, where it was Frackwood Skyliners who won the championship that year. Now, we've never had a champion from Spain, correct? Spanish ACB, arguably one of the top professional basketball leagues in the world. But interesting, we've never had a champion from the ACB. Neither has a team from the ACB ever played in a FIBA Europe Cup final. Only that champions from France, two champions from Italy, a champion from Israel, Turkey, and of course Poland. Anvil Wojtkowicz winning over two legs last season against Sholay Basket. The question will be, will that change this season? Currently 46 to 41 at the end of the first half between Bill Bow and the Niners Chemnitz. These two teams featuring some very spectacular players in the lineups. We mentioned DeAndre Lansdowne for Niners Chemnitz. Jeff Garrett as well, but in the case of Son of Bilbao, I mean, pick, you're like a kid in the candy store after all too many grades on this team. Dominic Lockhart and many players who have featured for the German national team. Germany, of course, the defending world champions after winning the FIBA Basel World Cup this summer in the Philippines. Well, moments away from tipping off here. Now, Basel fans, if you are watching live on the FIBA YouTube platform, please make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe to FIBA on YouTube. And make sure you follow FIBA Europe Cup on all social media platforms of X, Instagram, and Facebook. And, of course, we'd like to hear your thoughts as well. So let us know which team are you supporting. Are you supporting Cerner Bilbao or are you supporting Niners Chemnitz? Let us know. Now we get the second half back underway. Well, the tempo needs to be key here. Niners Hemnitz finishing the first half on fine fashion, making a bit of a comeback. Lands down, looking to penetrate. Puts up a tough shot, and again, it's able to drop. Now, I'm not quite sure if a tip-in was there, but now it is a one-possession ball game. 
Top scorer of the game, DeAndre Lansdowne cooking as usual. Well, Lansdowne now up to 15 points. Well, he was born into his team to do one thing, and that was to be a scorer as Kulamaya giving up the three-pointer. Well, he threw it right away. Foul has been drawn. Well, the foul is going to be called against Sunnyville Bowles. Alex Reyes trying to prevent Lansdowne from getting something quick in the open floor. Lansdowne go pick and roll. Well, nice twist getting around. Now it's a one-point ball game. Well, great start to the second half. Uzman Krubali. Well, he got that layup off the pick and roll scenario at the end of the first half. He's having a good game so far. Ten points for Uzman Krubali. Jones now in around the defense, goes in. So one thing about Sasha Kalea Jones, I mean, not only is he an offensive post threat inside the paint, but he can put the ball on the perimeter. Well, that's bully basketball right there, Sasha Kalea Jones. Going back to the free throw line. Well, statistically, Jones is 100% from the field. He's missed two free throws so far this evening. Three rebounds along with two assists. 12 points, joint top score for Sunnyville Bow along with Christian Kilomaya. Both combined total of 24. Niners looking to tie the game up. Maybe take the lead with a three. They've hit two tonight. Make it three. Well, this team was 0 for 9 for the perimeter, and they've made the last three three-pointers. Confidence is contagious. Garrett hitting his second tray ball tonight. Bill Bow looking to regain the lead. Well, Jones got it inside the paint. Now he's hit the ground. He could be hurt. This could be a problem for Sunnyville Bow. That is a worrying sign. Well, I think he could be okay. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, my goodness. That looks painful. Oh, it looks like he just lands right there. Hopefully that's not too much of a problem for him. Well, he's limping. So that is a worrying sign. The son of Bow, it looks like it's going to be a problem. He looks like he's in a world of pain. Well, if you know Sasha Kalea Jones, you know his style of play, and you know his determined attitude, it takes a lot to get him out. On a rolled ankle. Well. Nine is leading by one, almost turning it over. Going for another three. Ugwak, big time rebound. Well, he's just towering over everybody. Well, I don't know what's more impressive. Getting to the free throw line or that incredible rebound. Oh, you don't get highlight mixes for rebounds, but... Well, we're not going to see it, but... Well, the problem right now for Bill Bow, it does look like Kalea Jones. I don't think he's going to come back if you saw what he did to his ankle. Both free throws have been made by a head Uguak. Again, when he had to leave the game due to foul trouble in the second quarter, that was when Niners Chemnitz made the comeback. Now they have the lead. Can Bill Bow hold on? They don't want to go to Germany next week with the deficit. Renfro penetrating. Nowhere to go here. Time winded down. Anderson has made two threes tonight. Foul's going to be called against Alex Renfro. Well, I think that's a right call because Renfro trying to hold on to the box out against 
Yeah. Kevin Yebo went for the rebound, had hands all over him. Look at the rebound. Now watch. Yebo here goes for the rebound. That's a good call. It's a push. Well, again, a collision of players. This time, Alex Reyes is going to get called for the foul. <laughs> That's incidental. Well, Ukuak actually pushes Reyes into. Yeah, he pushes him into Yebo. That's, that's intelligent. Yebo penetrating. Well, again, trying to take on Hanassi, but you got to do better than that against the big Icelandic. Trailing by three points. Biggest lead so far for Chemnitz. Down low to Hanassi. Now we're under 10 on the shot clock. Big man trying to go in. Well, again, B-E-A, beautiful play by the big man from Iceland. Well, he went in with the reverse layup. Not something we're accustomed to seeing Hanassa do. Lansdowne in around 70 points for Dre. Well, Dr. Dre Lansdowne at the moment is cooking. Bill Bow's got to figure out an offense without Sasha Kalea Jones. Renfro looking to isolate. Pulls up for three. Can tie the game up. He's unable to do so. Kamnitz looking to go for a two-possession lead. Beautiful transition. Getting the ball up the floor. But they miss a layup. And that's unacceptable defense. Kevin Yebo missed the layup. Three Bill Bow players around. Nobody was able to get the rebound. And that's just hard desire. Nine is Chemnitz. Right now, they just want this game a little bit more, just a little bit more hungry than Bilbao. Five point ball game. Well, the foul is going to be called against Jeff Garrett. Well, Garrett's had a good game so far. He's one point and four rebounds away from a potential double double. There was a penetration by Chrissy Kulamaye. Melvin Patso is going to check into the game. Coming right back in for Son of Bilbao. He does have five points this evening. Big quiet so far for his standards. Reyes makes the first free throw. Well, experienced player Alex Reyes, many years playing in the Spanish ACB Liga Endesa. 30 years old. 30 years young, I should say. Original substitution, so he'll go to the bench. Keith Hornsby coming back into the game. Still a three-point lead to the visitors. Going back to Germany with a victory would be a huge plus. We talked about trying to keep it under 10 points when they were trailing by 16. That's now throwing it down low. Guay on the perimeter. Well, went for the three-pointer. They come back up with it. Dre's got to isolate. Crosses over. Three is up. Oh, my goodness. Dre lands down. 20 points this evening. He is unconscious right now. Fourth three-pointer of the night here for Niners Chemnitz. Only go for three in the corner. Trying to respond to nothing. Dropping offensive rebound. Hornsby, can he light it up? Niners Hemmets come up with a rebound. Only well, go for another one. Again, that's just too quick a shot by Yebo, but a loose ball play. And this is what I talked about. Niners Hemmets at the moment, they want this game a little bit more. They're just a little bit more hungry. Biggest lead of the game for the visitors. And Son of Bill Bow, they have to call timeout. Because they trail by eight points. Well, there was a three-pointer. Well, both of them could have got it, but they decided to fight over it. And in the end, Tyler McGuire got the two points. Let's go and listen now to what the coaches have to say. 18-5 lead here in the third quarter for Niners Hemnitz. 54 minutes. Okay? Yeah? Yeah, 54 minutes. Okay? You got it? Got it? Keep going. Keep working. Keep going. Focus. 
And now the focus, Anxiety. And next fight, you'll win. Okay? Venga, vamos a entrar. Be ready, press break. And we try to play one down shake. One down shake. Two options. Vale? Remember? Keep keys. Well, you can feel the anxiety from these Bilbao fans knowing their best players off the floor. Sasha Kalea Jones, well, it's fair to say he's been probably one of the best players this season in the FIBA Europe Cup. That twisted ankle. That looks like it could be a big, big problem here for Cerno Bilbao. Well, again, Basel fans, we welcome everybody who's joined us on the live YouTube chat for the ninth season of the FIBA Europe Cup semifinal matchup between our host Cerno Bilbao and the visit visitors, Niners Chemnitz. If you are watching live on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to FIBA on YouTube and make sure you follow the FIBA Europe Cup on all social media platforms of X, Instagram, and Facebook, well, Lansdowne thought they got the loose ball. Hornsby, tough fadeaway, puts it up, got it! And now we'll just inspire his teammates and maybe just get this home crowd back in the game. <laughs> 20 points now for DeAndre Lansdowne. Trying to go down low. Time winding down, has to put up a tough three. The three is up, and again, this is simply wunderbar. That's a tough three-pointer. Ahe Uguak. Well, that was under intense pressure. Finds on NASA, big man doesn't get the at one, but he will go the free throw line. Right now, you can see DeAndre Lansdowne trying to rally his teammates. They have to figure out how to defend this Bilbao pick and roll with Hanassen. But how do you stop seven over seven feet tall? Look at this. Uguak, hand his face, nothing but net. On well, the violins are playing off that string music. Denzel Anderson, he'll go to the bench, take a breather. Shabby Rabasetta comes back into the game for Son of Bilbao. Trying to make something happen. Bilbao trying to step up his defense. Nice penetration, but he can't. Well, that is tough with a capital T. How did he get that one off? That's the kind of shot you practice for hours on the courts of when you're outside preparing for your professional career, but doing at the pro level, that's something else for sure. Kulamaya trying to force his way in, goes out of bounds. Niners Hemnitz will get it back. Kulamaya saying to the referee, there was a deflection, but it's gonna be a turnover. So again, good defense. Niners Hemnitz looking to go for their first double digit lead of the game. What a time down low. Inside the paint, the three is up in the corner. Oh, got a deflection out. Good still here. Can Bilbao push something? Kulamaya go behind the back. Pulling off in the mid range. Kicks out. Panza wide open three and again. Swedish delight in the corner. Eight points tonight for Melvin Panza. Cutting it down a six point deficit with under two and a half here in the third quarter. Keen down the middle, no foul call, good defense. Bill Bow trying to extend. Bill Bow crowd getting into this one. This home crowd arena in the beautiful Basque country in the north of Spain. 
FIBA Europe Cup semifinal. Pantsaw wide open, back iron. Well, maybe he was just a little too amazed by how much time and space he had. Well, they try another three and make it number five. Remember, this team were 0 for 9 from the perimeter. As Wesley Van Beck putting it back now to a nine point ball game. Well, they couldn't buy a three pointer in the first half, and all of a sudden, well, they're just making it rain. That's a third time now. Third time they try to dump down a tough pass to Hanassi. He's unable now. But the big man, he works hard, but you got to understand what he's capable of. Well, can Adam Smith be a difference in the backcourt for Cerner Bill Bow, the former Hapoel Hulania player in Israel? Back to a play. B E A beautiful. And Jeff Garrett throws it down with no regard. Well, you like the action. And now it's the first time in the game a double-digit lead here for Hemnitz Niners. Well, I don't think they imagined to be in this position, knowing that they were down by 16 in the first half. But the team from the Easy Credit Bundesliga, Willkommen. So all the German Basel fans watching live. Wesley Van Beck, I mean, look at that pass. is just crisp, sweet. A little bit of hot sauce, a bit of spice on that one. Wow, welcome back. Sasha Kalea Jones rolled his ankle, and he's going to come back. Wow. Gives you those feelings of Isaiah Thomas in the NBA Finals against the LA Lakers when he rolled his ankle and scored 20 points in the fourth quarter. Another turnover now here for Son of Bilbao, Shabby Ravaceta. Niners leading by 11, make it 13, getting everything they want inside the paint. Great execution. Well, this home crowd is just stunned into silence. The comeback has been formidable. Pants out trying to run off a good ball screen. Time's winding down. Well, they're going to call an offensive foul. Now, Panzer, I felt, did get away with one in the first half. And I felt he threw an elbow. Very similar circumstances. And this time, they have called it. So there's going to be six seconds difference between game and shot clock. Right there, yeah, it's a good call. The elbow hitting the face of K Kasa Kajami Keen. As Alex Renfro comes back in. To give Melvin Pansar a little bit of a breather. Six seconds difference. Game and shot clock. Third quarter and drawing to an end. Niners Chemnitz of the Easy Credit Bundesliga in Deutschland, Germany. Currently leading by 13. Neither team with any fouls to give. Another offensive rebound. The putback no good, but the follow-up. Oh, just refusing to go in. Three seconds now. Keen's got to get it going. Keen forced it up and unable to extend their lead. Well, basketball fans, this is the FIBA Euro Cup semifinal game one between our host, Son of Bilbao, and the visitors, Ninus Hemnitz. Well, if you are watching live on the YouTube chat, please hit that like button. Subscribe to FIBA on YouTube. Game two of the semifinal will be played next week. The other semifinal is being played right now. As Vareze Ahoshi and Batshe Kaleji. So the winner of these two finals will meet in the FIBA Euro Cup 2023-24 final. Oh, that's incredible. Niners Hemnitz. Well, 0 for 9 from the perimeter. Now they've hit six so far since that, that point. Well, they've taken over from assists. They've out-rebounded Bill Bow. It's truly a turnaround. Ten stills for Ninas Hemnitz. Son of a bow with 15 turnovers. Well, that was Pantsaw. That was his second three-point. He has eight points this evening. But great play here. Look at this. Von Beck. 
Time space punishing the defense. Wesley all of a sudden stepping up big time. Well, there's a dish off by Kajami Keen finding Yebo inside the paints. And this is what you like to see. Well, again, if you are a Niners Chemnitz fan, if you are new to the German Easy Credit Bundesliga, one of the top professional basketball leagues in the international world of hoops. This is a team that was originally formed in 1999, known as BV Chemnitz 99. Of course, then it was rebranded in 2017 to Niners Chemnitz. Well, they made their promotion season winning the Pro Out League, the second tier of professional basketball Germany in 2020. They made their debut in the Easy Credit Bundesliga in the 2021 season, finishing 14th, but their best season was the following year when they finished sixth and made it to the semifinals of the German Cup. Last season, they made it to the second round of the FIBA Europe Cup. Well, Hornsby keeping his foot on the ground as now Kalea Jones kicks out. Rabbit set a wide open. That's just way off the mark. Nine is Hemnitz looking to push. Beautiful transition. Kajami Key making it a 15 point ball game. Alas Kut. It's all going the way of Nine is Hemnitz. Kazakot, Jami Keen getting called for the foul there against Adam Smith. Just trying to slow down the transition play for Son of Bilbao. Smith looking to go for the mid-range. Step back. Just can't get it. Goes out of bounds. Niners will get it back. Trying to build something. Yellow finding Kajami Keen. Can't keep becoming a good facilitator. Have a good defense by Bill Bow. Niners get it back. They draw the foul. They'll go to the free throw line. Well, they are just making all sorts of problems here for Sutter Bill Bow's defense. Well, again. We know how great Spanish basketball is. Spain, of course, winning the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2006 in Japan, also winning in 2019 in China, but Germany defending world champions, but also give credit. Telecom Basketball's bomb winning the BCL. Already we've had a German champion in the FIBA Europe Cup, the inaugural year back in 2015-16. Fraport Skyliners could Ninus Hemnitz be the second German champion of this competition. Seventeen point ball game. Home crowd trying to rally behind their team. Desperation here for Son of Bill Bow. Wants to be penetrates, tries to go off the backboard, and that's a tough play. And that's what they need. Somebody to step in and step up for Son of Bill Bow. Again, no help side defense. Somebody look in the lost and found because Son of Bill Bow, nobody rotating, nobody switching. And it's still indeed a 17 point lead. Another turnover. Yellow down the middle, goes in, bit of contact, draws another foul. He'll be going back to the charity stripe. This is truly incredible. First half, Son of Bill Bow controlled the tempo. They led by as many as 16. All of a sudden, it could now be a 19-point lead here for Niners Hemnitz. Foul is going to be called against Alex Renfro for the reach. Timeout is going to be called. We're going to listen to what the coaches have to say. Let's go and listen in. Four, 
That's a five. Okay? Now we try. For, for a chill. Right, for a chill. Okay, we got a chill. Right, remember, the slip is this. This way. Okay, yeah. Entry, boom, boom, and that's like a stick. Find this moment. Okay, yeah? Put the screen. Yeah. Right, see? Watch out the, the pass, Chris. Okay? Now. Yeah. The, the problem that is too much time. We are we are seeing the floor. No, we are seeing floor. Okay, come back. Well, defensively, Sunnyvale Bow they've really struggled here in the second half, especially. But it all happened when, of course, Sasha Claire Jones went to the bench in the first and second quarter. It was when he got into foul trouble. Did roll his ankle beginning of the second half, and you know he's had to come in at minimum. Well, Yebo currently the free throw line here for Niners Hemnitz and a chance to make this a 19 point deficit. Now the officials, we were just gonna maybe, maybe either look at how much time is on the clock or have a review of the previous play. We'll find out momentarily what the outcome is gonna be. Yebo currently is at the free throw line. He has 12 points this evening along with three rebounds. But it's all been about DeAndre Lansdowne. 20 points for Lansdowne. Well, they are going back to review this now. Was Kevin Yebo in his one-two step? Well, yeah, I believe he was. I can't imagine they're going to review this for a potential upgrade. I think they were possibly trying to figure out who the foul was on. So Yebo now at the charity stripe here for Ninus Hemnitz. Well, they've only missed one. Oh. Prior to this, they've only missed one free throw. That is the second missed free throw of the night here for the team from the Easy Credit Bundesliga in Germany. 13 out of 15. Makes the second one. 18 point ball game with eight minutes and six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Well, coming back to the game is Osman Kruzbali. The end of the first half, it was only one player in double digits for nine and seven minutes. Now it's four players. Five, excuse me, Kevin Yebo as he's gone to the bench. So last down, Krubali, Kajami Keen, and Jeffrey Garrett all in double digits. Jones trying to isolate, put the ball on the ground. Right at the end of the shot clock, just can't get it. Rebound has been secured. And you have to remember in the quarterfinals, of course, Bill Bow did lose game one by 18 points, and they came back, but they had played game two at home. Lansdowne keeping it alive. Kajami Keen finds Lansdowne. Wide open three in the corner. It's up. 21-point lead. It's all raining now. Yugak hitting his second three-point of the night. He has eight points. Well, he's one field goal away from being the sixth player to get into double digits. But this is truly incredible this evening. Jones pick and pop. Three is up, and that's a good response. And even if Bill Bow loses this game, they have to chip into the deficit. Remember, it's aggregate scoring. So if Bill Bow loses by 18, hypothetically, they'll begin game two down by 18 points. Foul's going to be called against Usman Krubali, I believe, number 24. 
Well, Keen dishing off again inside the paint goes up, and it's way too easy here for Nine and Seven. It's Krubali. Well, he's having a game of games with 12 points, five and nine from the field, four rebounds away from a potential double double. Everything dropping here at the moment. And again, poor passing from Son of Bill Bal. Kalea Jones was wide open. All the fans in Germany right now, again, very excited to know that they could be going back home with a victory. Keen goes in with a floater, can't get it. Another offensive board. Jones with a rejection. Well, what a block shot, but they turn it right back over. Well, that unfortunately, that has been the story of the second half here for Sunday Bill Bow. Way too many turnovers. But what a block by Sasha Kalea Jones. Now finding Kajami Keen. Three is up. Well, he was unable to hit the three pointer. He's going to go to the bench, take a breather as Wesley Van Beck comes into the game. It's not over by any means because remember they do have to play another game and having already lost one game of course by 18 on aggregate and coming back and winning the second one anything is possible but for nine is Hemnitz you got to be thinking you already took down one good team from the Spanish ACB Casa Demo that a ghost in the quarterfinals could reality be about to happen again Kalea Jones, no in me, Casa, he just said. Well, the free throw has been knocked down by Alex Reyes. Well, he's unable to make the second one. 19 point bowl game. Go for another three points up. And again, everything dropping in for Nine is Hemnitz. <laughs> it is incredible. This team couldn't make a three-pointer in the first half. They went 0 for 9. Finding Anderson on the pick and roll, but it goes out of bounds. Bill Bow will get it back. Oh, how do you go from not being able to buy a three-pointer to all of a sudden you can't even miss from the perimeter? Eight triples tonight here for Nine is Hemnitz. Kalea Jones calling a double team. He draws a foul. It's going to be the third team foul against Nine is Hemnitz. It's against DeAndre Lansdowne. Well, Yebo coming back into the game for Niners. Baseline ball. Bill Bow's got to go quick now. Run to five minutes. 22 point lead. Ramfro inside the paint. Unable to finish now. It's going to be another turnover here for Son of Bill Bow. Unable to go for the second chance opportunity. Well, 
was unfortunate play there. Try to go to handoff. Jones fakes it, goes in. Oh, baby! Dr. Dre lands down. Well, he faked the pass. I mean, he faked me out on that one. I thought he was going to get the assist. Well, he's been terrific this evening. 22 points for DeAndre Lansdowne. 24 point lead to Niners Hemnitz. Nice defense. Kalea Jones gets the offensive board. Anderson wide open, but nothing dropping. Well, down the middle again. That is just showtime. Niners Hemnitz basketball. Off gets Deutschland. Well, he has a few words for Sasha Kalea Jones. Well, let's have a look at the replay. That's a transition play by. Well, did Jones push him in the back? Yeah. Very unnecessary play by. And the referees, they're going to talk this one over. And I wouldn't be surprised if this gets upgraded. To an unsportsmanlike foul. Now, it's an AM1. So, in a regular unsportsmanlike foul, it's two free throws and you get the ball back. But this is an AM1. So, if it does get upgraded, they're going to review it now. If it gets upgraded, Yebo's going to get a free throw. And Niners Hemnitz will get it back. Well, we're going to find out momentarily what our referees will decide. Again, I would be very surprised if it doesn't get upgraded. There's a hat in the back. It's so unnecessary by Sasha Kalea Jones. It's a frustration play by all means. And Kevin Yebo, just, I mean, he, Kevin Yebo, what a professional because he doesn't overreact. Now, I don't know what he said. He may have said something possibly inappropriate, but in a very cool and calm demeanor. I, I think it's, no. Wow. Just a regular foul. Well, I'd say Sasha Kalea Jones possibly is very, very lucky because it was a push in the back. There was no attempt to play the ball. Well, interesting decision. So one free throw coming up now for Kevin Yebo. 3.47. What a game it's been. You can already hear the German fans saying, Wir lieben Deutschen Basketball. Meisterschaft DNA, championship DNA maybe in the veins of these Niners Hemnitz players. What a game we are witnessing. An incredible turnaround. You know, the best thing that Cerner Bill Bau could do right now, keep on chipping into the deficit. They have to play another game. And they'll have to go on the road. Lands down, crossing over. Dishing off down the middle. Trying to go up, but unable to connect. Yebo comes up, still can't finish. And a three-pointer drilled. That makes it a 22-point ball game. Three minutes left. As I mentioned... Bill Bow may not win this game, but they've got to keep on chipping in. Whatever they lose by tonight, that's the margin they'll begin with in game two next week in Germany. And timeout's going to be cold, so these two teams have a chance to talk it over. Game one of the FIBA Euro Cup semifinal 2023-24. Nine is Hemnitz. Well, let's listen to what the coach has to say. We got one foul to give. No easy basket. 
They're gonna press us. They might go. They might go one two one one. We're gonna run dagger, and when we get to the other side, West initiates chip four. Okay? We dread, and we put O's on the right side. Okay? West, I want you to go throw and go with those, but I want us to give it to him, and then turn around and scream. All right? Perfect. Let's go. Well, that was a quick three-pointer by Christian Kulamaya. Right now, just fighting for any chance to try and just chip into this deficit, try to give themselves a chance in game two. But whatever it is, it's going to be a big mountain for them to climb. I mean, this loyal Bill Bow fan base, a very historic basketball team in the Spanish ACB, one of the greatest leagues in international basketball. But give credit what credit's due. The easy credit Bundesliga. Why not German basketball? Why not now? Frappot Skyliners winning the first ever FIBA Euro Cup championship as a referee. Well... Bit of overtime there for the referees. Excellent job by our officials. Well, oh, good defense forcing a turnover. Now they'll get it back. As I've already said, Bill Bow in the quarterfinals losing game one on the road in Poland to Legia Vasava by 18. Coming home to win the deficit. 28 point victory in game two. But the problem for Bill Bow, game two is going to be on the road in front of a very eager, hyped up, and passionate German fan base of Niners, Chemnitz fans. Bill Bow getting it in bound. The three is up. All unable to connect. Big rebound here. Just over two and a half to go. Still a 22 point lead. Lansdowne coming off one screen. Going baseline down the middle. Hangs in the air. Draws another foul. So Kevin Yebo. Well, he's been terrific. Yebo's just getting to the charity stripe. Well, Yevo's got 16 points this evening. He's made eight out of nine free throws. And the chance to extend this back to a 24-point ball game. Oh, he missed another one. Well, credit to Niners Eminence. They've only missed three free throws this evening. Well, Bill Powell's got to go quick here. Yeah, they got to get quick buckets, and then they got to force some turnovers. They don't have any fouls to give, so they got to be careful of the gambles. So now we're under 10 on the shot clock. Patsaw being heavily defended. Reyes penetrates down the lane, unable to finish. Nine is Hemnitz come up with it. Kajami Keen, you're a step. Well, three is up in the corner. Three is up. Beautifully tucked away. Well, Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, and Guten Nacht. What a ball game. 26 point lead again to Niners Hemnitz. On to two minutes, 1.45 to go here in the fourth quarter. Nobody would have seen this one coming if you saw the first quarter. As Anderson's able to draw the foul against Wesley Van Beck. So two free throws coming up. Well, Swedish international Denzel Anderson at the free throw line making the first one. Well, 
anything to try and chip down the deficit. Now it's a 24 point ball game, 139 to go. Bill Bow trying to put on a bit of full court pressure, but Niners have no problem breaking it down. Here comes the double team on the sideline. Kajami Keen down the middle. Oh, good help side defense. Man back made his last three, makes another one. Eins, zwei, drei, Bitterschen. Three points, please, coming from Wesley Van Beck. Well, he's cooking. He is simply cooking at the moment. <laughs> that was a simple pump fake in the corner. Sent the de defense flying. All right. Well, incidental, of course, but reminds me of, of course, to many German Basel fans watching and, of course, Niners fans. MRP Riesen Ludwigsburg last season playing Limoges in game three of the play-ins of the Basel Champions League. Yoman Polos Bartolo tried to do something similar. And of course, he ended up jumping over the defense and getting called for an unsportsmanlike foul. So. Well, run a minute to go. 25 point lead to Niners. No need to rush this one. They're going back to Germany next week with a big margin. Kajami Key now going off the backboard, unable to connect. Now, Bill Powell's got to be quick, but they're going to turn it right back over. Unable to get this one. Well, good defense by Bill Bow, but can they convert this quickly? But they turn it again back over. Well, Niners just trying to get to the final whistle. 25 point cushion going into game two next week. Remember, this is a two legged semifinal, and it's all about aggregate. D3, final one, no good. Well, Basel fans, we thank you for joining us here in the beautiful city of Bilbao in the Basque country of Game 1 of the 2023-24 FIBA Europe Cup semifinal. Niners Hemnitz, they will take the first victory. Oh, again, a big, big victory. Looking to become the second German team in the history of the FIBA Europe Cup competition led by that man. 22 points, four assists for DeAndre Lansdowne. Last few seasons playing in France for six Strasbourg, but now he's found a new home. Phenomenal game here, of course, from Niners Chemnitz. Big, big victory, but one game to go. And phenomenal play. Their coach, the man from Argentina, who had a great career as a player. Head coach Rodrigo Pastore, Richie from Bilbao. Oh, excuse me, Richie from Buenos Aires, Argentina, winning tonight in Bilbao. Started with this team back in 2015. Now you can see tonight the statistics. Well, it all went downhill for Senna Bilbao in the second quarter when Sasha Calais Jones went out in foul trouble. And then, of course, their troubles heightened when he rolled his ankle at the beginning of the second half. Niners, of course, out rebounding, getting more assists. 13 stills this evening, 20 turnovers, son of Bill Bow. Well, impossible is nothing. Bill Bow have a chance, but they've got to win game two by more than the margin they've lost by here this evening. We've never had a Spanish team win the FIBA Europe Cup. We've never had a Spanish team in the final of the FIBA Europe Cup, so if they are to do it, they got to make history next week. Niners Chemnitz, phenomenal performance, one game away. They don't have to win next week. They just have to make sure they don't lose by as big a margin that they've won by here this evening, and it's quite a big margin to say the least. Oh, 
Well, this team, they came here this evening. They struggled. They rallied. They're the traveling fans from Germany. What a great performance it was from Niners Chemnitz. Collectively, this team was fantastic in the second half. They came together. Only DeAndre Lansdowne was in double digits at the end of the first half. And my word, did they finish this game in fine fashion. Well, in the end, five players finishing double digits for Niners Chemnitz. Wesley Van Beck did have nine points. He hit three out of six on the perimeter. And that was the end of the game, Basel fans. Well, we'd like to say to everybody, we do thank you for joining us here for the first leg of the FIBA Europe Cup semifinal between Cernobyl Bowers. They lost this one heavily to Niners Chemnitz. Game two will be next week. Aggregate scoring, of course. So Bill Bow, they'll have a mountain to climb. They must win by 25 to make sure they equal the aggregate score because they lost by 25 this evening. If they want to take the victory, they must win by 26 next week. And to do that on the road is going to be a tough mountain. But as I mentioned, it's not impossible, but it's going to be tough. Well, again, a big thank you to all the Basel fans who did join us this evening live on the FIBA YouTube platform for this game in the 2023-24 FIBA Europe Cup semifinal. We'll see you next week. We thank you for joining us. This is the FIBA Europe Cup. For now, it's goodbye, good night, and we'll see you soon. You just stop. you're not attacked. You don't have him by the hip because if he release, you go with it.
Gracias. 